we do nothing, there will be a collision. Now, to find out how long until that collision, we need to measure a couple of distances. This first distance here, we need to find out how far the target vessel has travelled in the 12 minutes we've been plotting it. All we do, transpose that onto the scale, and we see in the last 12 minutes, the target vessel has moved 1.5 miles relative to us. Then, we need to find the distance that the target vessel has got to go from its final position until it reaches us. Again, we're going to transpose this onto the side scale and measure up to find it's about 3.3 miles. To work out how long it's going to take to travel that, we need to do a ratio between these. The ratio of 3.3 to 1.5 will be the same as the time to go to 12. And we simply lay it out like this. All we do is we move the 12 to the other side, simple algebra here, to find the time to the closest point of approach. And running that through the calculator, rounding off to the nearest minute, we get 26 minutes. We can start writing these down the side. So our CPA, as we've said, is zero, and our time to the closest point of approach is 26 minutes. 